Hey everyone, this week has seen a lot of debate, by which I mean politically correct attention seeking, over whether teenager Shamima Begum should be allowed to return to the UK or not after spending years living in ISIS controlled territory and discovering that ISIS rhymes with crisis. And that, like those still holding on to their Blackberry telephones, the jihadist extremists are very much on the losing side these days. The territory held by them has been reduced to just a couple of hundred square miles, approximately the size of a mid sized IKEA. I know it's a military cliche, but this war may well be over by Christmas, but just don't tell them that, otherwise, the very Christian religious symbology that will only strengthen their extremist zeal. Anyway, Shamima's heard that Doctor Who is a lady now, so she wants to return to the UK. She's over 17 now too, so she'd even, as a lady, be allowed to legally drive or visit the shops on her own if she lived in the UK. Don't get me wrong, a lot of people say that the Caliphate is a great place for a woman to live, but then you realise that they're saying it's the best place, quote, hands down, and you become very aware that an axe is being ushered in. For all the talk of international law and technicalities of her case, the arguments being put forward by the lawyers really seem a bit like complaining that the kitchen in the Titanic wasn't up to code. The same people who say that she was young and immature already want young people her age to be given the vote, and at the end of the day she was already older than that when she publicly justified the Manchester terrorist attacks. Of course it was all around that time that the fighters lost interest because they'd put a lot of effort in capturing oil fields just before the price of crude headed south. Something else that of course headed south was a wave of drone fighters from NATO bases in the north. So where are we now then? Well Jeremy Corbyn of course made lots of platitudes which were broadly in line with his previous sentiments for extremist organisations starting with the letter I. Mind you, with his MPs defecting to form their own group, you can't really blame him for wanting to secure every vote he can lay his hands on. Things aren't going too well, really. I saw pictures of him in the press recently visiting a homeless shelter. It makes you wonder, things must be really bad in London if someone on his salary can't afford the rent. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.